Welcome. This is the Algebra End of Course Practice Test, Algebra 1, and uh, question number 17. The question says, which graph represents a relation that is also a function? Now, a mathematician would define a function as a relation in which every input value has a single output value. Or, if I have a functional soda machine, if I press the button for Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper should fall out. If I press the button for Dr. Pepper and sometimes Dr. Pepper comes out and sometimes um, Mountain Dew comes out, that's a problem. It's not functional. We can assess that based on a vertical line test because what it means really is every x value should only have one y value that goes with it. Now you can have a y value with more than one x, but just straight up and down. So we're going to vertical line test this thing. If it hits more than once, it is not a function. Well, this one hits the entire time, other than, despite the fact that I can't draw very well. It hits like here and here and here and on and on. So, nope, not a function. This one, oh man. I also have an explanation where I talk about the x value representing time. And to be a functional time traveler like Marty McFly, uh, you want to make sure that you don't end up in two places at the same time. So here, this guy at negative five, that could be five days ago, He's here and here at the exact same time. That can't happen. We all know what happened to Marty McFly. Like in the end, it worked out great, but for a while his mom was pretty excited to see him in a weird way. So here, it's a failure, but in this case for D, that's all hunky-dory. He it passes. There aren't any x values that have more than one y value that match it. So D is our function in this set.